What do you think? I'm just playing games, bro. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex. This is Corbin. This is Rick. And you can follow this on Instagram and Instagram. Twitter. From our juicy content. It's so juicy. Thank you on Patreon. Follow an official Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. That's how you get to know when we post videos. Hence yeah, where the notification duh. is. Yeah. Bang! Bang. Uh, and follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Links always in the description below. Like yeah, go down there and jump on the links. And I'm not talking about golf. And uh, today, we are doing a movie review. A long-awaited... Long-awaited. Long, a very long-awaited uh, movie review. As uh, they all are now, I think. Uh, <laughs> they are. But we reacted We reacted to the trailer on this like 11 months ago. You know, so. we, got, we got sent the DVD uh, mm -hmm. many moons ago. Uh, but, but we get there. We're, we, we're like... We're like the rabbit and the hare race, or the, you know, the little tugboat. I think I can. I think I. We get there. Eventually, it might be eventually twenty thirty seven, but we'll get That's there. That's true. Uh, yeah, we will. Today, uh, we reviewed a Nand, uh, <laughs> which I don't know. That's how you pronounce it. I think I'm pretty think sure actually, that's not how you pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pronounced like um, Anand. I Anand? think Anand? something like that. Yeah, uh, Anand. Uh, obviously, it came out in 1971. Uh, yep. Directed by, say his name for me, Rick, please. Well, you're expecting me to already have my IMDb open. I'm expecting you to be a professional, but I guess that was too much. Oh, that's way too much. I mean, <laughs> what do you think this is, our professional reactions? That's true. That's true. <laughs> but it it is starring... It is starring... Uh, hold on, because I, I can tell you this. I know his last name is Mukherjee because he's a Bengali. Yes. Um, okay, got it open. Yes. Uh, Rishkesh Mukherjee. Uh, directed, written, and produced by him. Uh, Correct. And starring, say all their names for me. Uh, this, this, this guy that we've just been introduced to named um, Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah, he seemed okay. He seemed uh, okay. He, I, I don't know why we haven't heard more from him because he looked very promising, and I guess he just fell off. The yeah, face fell of the world. fell off the uh, map. I anyway, don't think he's done anything else. Yeah, and uh, uh, Rajesh Khanna, which uh, even to now I know we still don't know. Everybody was saying, "You think Big B is yeah. the legend?" Well, this is the legend before the legend. Yeah, uh, uh, and then uh, say the other two. Uh, and then the the role of uh, Renu was played by Sumita Sanyo, uh -huh. and then uh, his doctor friend was Ramesh Dayal. Yes, uh, and. 100% spoiler review because it came out in 1971. If you haven't seen it, you're not really Indian, I'm pretty sure. Uh. Um, yeah, I think this is a requirement for Indian citizenship. Have you seen Anand? Anand. Yeah. Anyways, uh, but it's the story of a terminally ill man. Uh, I wish they wouldn't put that in there immediately, I guess. I know, uh, me too. I guess they tell you pretty soon, though. Um, a story of a terminally ill man who wishes to live life to the full before the inevitable occurs as told by his best friend. That's Rick, okay. It could be a worse synopsis. Initial thoughts. Um, I'll give you my little paragraph for okay. my initial thought. How's that? Okay, go Is ahead. that good? All right. Of the older Indian films we've seen, which shamefully, there's like three, if you, can, if you make the Opu trilogy one film. <laughs> yeah. And when I mean older, I mean like the 70s or before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, of those that we've seen, uh, uh, I still hold, as far as cinematic stuff, Opu has a very special place and is the number one cinematic artistry thing. But this would be my number one selection for American audiences to ingest and to see. Um, I think it, 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 the one area it lacks in realism is absolutely made up for in its many important and beautifully told messages about death, dying, life, and living with an absolutely beautiful representation of modern Mumbai at the time and often painfully beautiful poetic writing worthy of the reputation of Gulzar, if that's how you pronounce that man's name. I actually have a little book of his poems. Uh, Gulzar, Gulzar, please help me, stupid babies, to pronounce his name right. 
Um, that's my initial initial impression. What about you? Oh, I liked it a lot. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I, I think I would agree in terms of films, if an American audience was, the, the limited ones we've seen, I'm sure there's a ton more. Yeah. We, we, we've got a that gazillion to see. Seen, um, yeah, I think this is the most digestible in terms for an American audience that hasn't seen anything yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Close second for me, especially if you're like my wife, is, is Cholet. I actually, Obviously. I prefer Cholet more, but it's only because it's my personal taste, not because of anything that I think is better in this or worse than that. Uh, same same thing with me. This is I prefer this over Cholet, but it's not, yeah. I didn't, it's not that I dislike it. It's just personal taste. And I have no qualms if somebody says they like Cholet better than they like uh, Anand. I thought it was a beautiful uh, telling, and I thought a really good telling. Um, and I, I, I know that uh, Amitak Bakshan was like um, new at this point, and I could see mm -hmm. why people saw so much in him. I don't know how much he did before, uh, this, but he, he put on a really different, strong performance that I've never seen because I think he was so young. Uh, and we haven't even seen him this young. And when he became a star star, I think he preferred the angry young men uh, roles uh, that I think he was called for for a while. Um, and so this was, I think, a very different uh, role. Uh, not that he <laughs> I was out of his stretch, obviously. But um, I was really impressed with our first introduction to uh, Rajesh Khanna. Yes. I thought he was a ball. Like, he was basically... What I was trying to figure out the entire time, I was like, what does he remind me of? And I'm not trying to compare him. And obviously this is a weird comparison, but he reminded me of like real life Olaf. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just that's, a, a good, that's a good comparison. A very happy person, which is why I really liked him in his life so much um, and, and, and being around him. But I thought the whole, and you, you've seen films like this, terminally ill people that choose to be really happy, uh, but it's it's one of those stories that deserves retelling on and off because it's such a human yes. story. Obviously, death yes. is probably one of the most human things in, uh, around because everybody's going to oh, go yeah. through it. Um, yep. And so the fact that you know he's so happy and it's more about everybody else grieving and yeah and him <laughs> being like I want to just and it's, it's how you you would think you would want to enjoy your last days if you knew your days were numbered. You'd be like, right. I want to be, I don't want to dwell. It's going to happen. I can't really change right. that. But right. he did show in certain times his, his um, emotion <laughs> about mm -hmm. his struggle. Like, yeah. He, multiple times. I think there's two or three times in songs oh, yeah. or, or at the very end where he was like, I don't want to die. Uh, he really let it come through. Um, but so you saw that humanness side of him, which is, I think, a, a beautiful um, thing to tell on film um, to, to tell that part of it but the whole of it being like everybody's grieving like how does a doctor who sees death all the time grieve uh, mm -hmm. how does you know and then he becomes best friends and then how does the, the, the females uh, in this grieve and um, yeah so I thought that, that whole part was just so so beautiful and I could see why people like this film so much oh absolutely can and I uh, I um if I were remaking it today and we were, you know, cause I think so many times about how there's, you know, Indian films have consistently remade films from Hollywood. And we've talked about how I would love to see films from India be made into American films. The role that I would cast, we can't use that actor. Um, but I would, I would put, uh, in the role that Rajesh Khanna played, I'd put Robin Williams, mm, uh, yeah. his, that he had, you know, very different personality, but he had that same sense of innocence and joy, but also that l the little bit of the sorrow behind there that he will look at. But he, there's, you know, when he says to uh, Big B, that moment when he says, um, I'm not going to basically says, I'm not sharing this with other people. This is my private pain. Yeah. It, it didn't come across as a, a guy trying to hide or not wanting to share. It just was this point of sometimes people do need to be alone with their struggle, and that's that's okay. There's a balance because sometimes that's a really slippery abyss to go down. But that it, it made that musical number we saw where he's walking along the beach. Zindagi! Uh, even, <laughs> even, even more touching yeah. uh, and beautiful. And I, yeah, the, the, the biggest thing of all, 
I, I just was so happy to see uh, an older film in India that you could, you know, you could recommend because we so want to see people have the stereotypes they have in their mind about Bollywood shattered. This is a great film to grab. Shole is as well, but the drawback, as you, I think you would agree, would be this has a, a shorter runtime, so it's a yeah. little bit more digestible. Yeah. It's a little bit more contemporary in terms of the feelings and stuff, but I love that. I love the way Mumbai felt more like L.A. of 1971 than yeah. it did some distant, you know, it really gives you the idea of, hey, you know what? India is not this third world country you think it is, and it really never has been, guys. Yeah. You need to recognize that. And my only critique of it, I mentioned in my little paragraph, was there's moments that, uh, and it's it's not a fault, it's just the way it was with people's cinematic development at the time. Not everybody developed at the same time. There are several moments that are cliched with the score where someone has a dramatic moment and the score does that melodrama, soap opera kind of thing, which at the time was completely acceptable. But for today's digestion, people yeah. need to recognize, don't give this a 21st century parameter yeah. for what they were doing in the 20th century yeah. back then. So. That also happened in old school Hollywood as well. Some of the- It sure um, did. Some, and which is why I'm not as big of a fan of a lot of older Hollywood stuff. Because, yeah. except for certain ones, because the people that broke the mold, Marlon Brando, James Dean, uh, th that's why they were so revolutionary. Because everybody was doing this almost um, just acting, almost theater type acting on screen almost. Um, mm -hmm. and, and not just Bolly in Hollywood. Um, oh yeah. And then people came in and they were like, "No, let's let's be real. Let's like right. make it more realistic." Well, and that, that's why they were so revolutionary. And then I think Big B took the mantle of that as well uh, in the industry um, in in Bollywood and and really changed the game in Bollywood because he was I, oh, he's always <laughs> he was he was never over the top. I don't think Big B can be over the top. I'm going to be honest with you. He's he's quite a small actor. <laughs> Well, and most of the performances in this were on the smaller side for the most part. And that's, yep. a, that's a testament as well to Rajat Khanna because his character could have been zany yeah. and it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. And, and for a character that was so over the top, he kept it relatively grounded. And that's also true. We pointed that out a, a lot about the actor because we're both, we're both actors and we've talked about how, you know, the silent era informed the era of sound with cliched acting and as did um uh, uh, other aspects of vaudeville and then when Sa when uh, brando came on the scene and uh, uh lee strasberg and method acting it, it the other thing is the directing as well so like in yeah. 1971 the same year that this came out uh was the same year that dirty harry came out and 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 the french connection and fiddler on the roof and that even the directing style was evolving but yeah. you can't you can't compare those for me. I did that at first. I was like, well, this isn't as real. Yeah. And that's not a, anybody who would critique the film on that level, I don't think is seeing the larger whole. Yeah. And that's my, that's my only critique as a whole. I think this is a really wonderful, wonderful movie. Yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, my favorite parts were probably when um, Rajesh's character broke, uh, mm -hmm. either during the song when he was singing uh, mm -hmm. and then Big B saw him singing um or the very end when he broke and he was crying to her he's like i don't want to die and waiting for yeah. me to come back and i thought the yeah. ending was phenomenal i knew it was gonna yeah come. i knew it was gonna come too because with the recording yeah. he was like talk to me talk to me and then the recorded started playing i thought that was that was really really well done in terms of uh ending it like that did you cry i did not but okay i had i have three favorite moments but i did get emotional but i didn't have tears coming down the cheeks yeah. Did you? No. <laughs> Not, <laughs> nowhere had, nowhere I had, close. <laughs> I had many favorite moments. Uh, my first favorite moment is at the beginning of the film when he says, when Big B is looking at him and basically says, do you realize your prognosis here? Do you realize what's going to happen to you? And he says to Big B, yeah, well, you're going to live to 100 maybe. So you've got, what, 70 years and I've got six months. I'm going to live a million moments between now and when I die. Mm -hmm. Are you going to live those moments too? That, the song... And then those last 10 minutes of the film, I think, so beautifully wrap it up, especially with them in the room, Big B's there, he's gone, and unexpectedly, though we expect it, yeah, it plays, and it's the two of them, and it ends with their laughter. Uh, like, 
really laughing in the face of death. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, it, and even recounting some of it, the emotion yeah. stirs up. So yeah, yeah it got me I know, emotional. I know a lot of people, it, there was like uh, people on Twitter saying, this will make Corbin cry because they've been yeah, trying no. to make me cry for a long time now. And it's just, if, it, I if, have no soul. If the part of Rajesh Khanna had been a terminally ill dog whining in the bed, yeah, that would that. be much more likely. That would well, have been much more likely. Although father-son stuff is touching me a lot more now than it ever did. Oh, oh I, <laughs> welcome so, to the club, my brother. That, that, uh, welcome to the club. That, uh, that obviously uh, changes stuff when you have a child. Uh, I got two quick things of trivia you may know, and I know these because of, of uh, stupid babies. One, did you know that Rajesh Khanna was the father-in-law to the king of cheese, Akshay? I think they've told us that, yeah. They did, and then yeah. the other thing that that's true, and I, the Big B apparently confirmed this, was Big B was not known at all. And when he went to the gas station to fill up his car before the release of the film, nobody knew who he was. <laughs> the, next time, the next time he went to the exact same gas station, it was after the film was released, and everybody was recognizing him. That is how big this movie was and how much it catapulted Big B from nobody knew who he was to now suddenly he's the guy who was in that great film with Rajesh Khanna. Yeah, I, and I, I see why. I, I, like I said, I really enjoyed this movie. I would, if like uh, somebody you wanted to introduce an American to an old school Bollywood film, like yes. I think this would be a good one to introduce them to the style that was uh, then, back then. Uh, Absolutely. But obviously we've seen very little, um, and so that could change. And, and I'm very obviously interested for a lot of reasons. I would like to see, because he's got a ton of stuff on his resume, I would love to see more films uh, by uh, uh, Rishikesh uh, Mukherjee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'd be awesome. Very interested in him, because we've talked about getting into other Bengali films other than <laughs> Sachi Jirai. <laughs> And there's others? I don't think Yeah, so. there actually are. <laughs> I don't think. So yeah, I like I said, I really enjoyed this film. I really enjoyed the songs a lot. The songs were really great, even the ones that we didn't see. Really good. I thought they were really, really yep. good. Uh, public service announcement. Don't release balloons. Um, <laughs> <laughs> balloons that you originally thought favored the shape, size, and color of the human male penis. Yes. No. Yes. You don't it it kills animals and turtles, so don't do it. Just like you shouldn't feed ducks bread. Just don't do it. It's not good. It's bad for them. You could feed them seeds. Get them seeds. Throw the ducks some seeds. Don't feed... Br Anyways, yeah, I'm, on my, I'm on my soapbox now. Don't release <laughs> balloons into the air. It's bad for them. Anyway, That's the take of life. That was actually... Because uh, Steph watched it with me. She was like, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Because it's the first time seeing it, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that was great. Let us know what other um, Ra uh, Rajesh Khanna films we should watch. The next big B yeah. classic we should watch. And classic Bollywood yeah. in general, even if it doesn't have them. Let us yeah, know what we should show. watch down below. We have a lot to watch because Bollywood's been around for a little while now, uh, from what I've been told. I can think about it. <laughs> Let us know. Da din din 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 da din din